Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, precision clip replacement in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I want to hearken back to the pros. This is a pro type tip from the old style editors uh, that deal with precision. They're, they're all about not just guessing at things, but knowing exactly what you want and placing it into the timeline exactly where you want. And a lot of people that come from the mouse world will move something around, move it around, check it around, move it, and then finally get it right. If you're doing this on a short project, then no big deal. But if you need to get things done quickly, and if you've got somebody over your shoulder breathing down your neck, this is the kind of thing that can make you more productive. Let's go have a look. So here I've got a timeline of a bunch of clips. They're full of action, except this one tends to be a little bit obscure. And I was told that this is the clip that they want to replace it with. It's much more action filled with the train leaving the station. So I'm going to show you a few ways to quickly uh, replace that clip. So this clip is selected. If I right click on that clip and go to replace clip, replace with clip, I can choose three things source monitor, source monitor match frame, and from bin, which is grayed out because I don't have anything selected. Right now I'm just going to choose from source monitor. Click, boom, and it's done. And when I play that back, there it is. Okay, that's all well and good, but how do I know where I want the beginning of this clip to be in respect to the, uh, the clip that was there? So when I replace a clip, the clip that's in the timeline has a space for it to fit in, basically an in and out in the timeline. If the, the in and out and the, if the duration of that clip and the duration of the clip I'm replacing are exactly the same, then I have nothing to worry about. The chances of that happening are zero, even if it's one frame off. So let's go look at uh, doing this with precision. So I'm gonna undo, I'm gonna find a spot. Let's say I, at this point in the timeline, right here, I want the train to just be past these phone numbers. Boom, right there, just by that odd looking demonic cow. So. I don't have any in and out points in my source monitor or in my timeline, but I do have a clip selected and I have my playhead. Now watch what happens when I click and choose replace with clip match frame. You'll notice that the frame on the left is now matched on the right. And if I go back and hit play, the point that I wanted the numbers to be revealed now works right there. See what I mean? I didn't have to set in and out points. Now, if you didn't know this tip and you were a mouse dragger, you'd probably move that around, drag that down. Maybe you even put it on, the, on a layer above, drag it around, set an in and point, move it, and then cut it and then insert it in there. Probably like 15 or 20 movements. One mouse click and we're done. All right. I'm going to undo this again. Now let's talk about adding an in and out point in the source monitor. So at the beginning of this clip, where do I want this to be? Well, I don't really know where that, that point is. So let's, so let's say that I want the end point, and you can see the end point is actually way over here. The end point I want is just as the train is coming in. So if I hit the I key for end point, and now I want to replace this clip, if I replace this clip, from the source monitor, now you'll see it comes in from that uh, endpoint. But we've got a problem. What's the problem? The clip duration is completely wrong. So a fit to fill or two, uh, sorry, a three or four point editing would probably be better for this kind of an operation. So if you are using the endpoint of that, then you've got to make sure you've got enough clip. And Premiere Pro shows you that. You can see that down here. That um, that striped line is telling you you don't have enough clip and it ends right there. So that de doesn't work. We can't have enough of that clip. So let's go back up to here 
and maybe let's put an out point at that point. So if I hit an out, select, replace with clip, now you'll see the out point works right there. Okay, so let's go back up to our source and let's clear everything out. And this time I'll select a clip on the left hand side. So in the bin, this is selected, right click, replace with clip from the bin and it replaces it. The same in and out point does work. So if I double click on the clip, load it in the source monitor and hit my out point here. Now when I choose the bin, replace with clip from bin, I get the same out point. Okay, you can't use match frame uh, within the bin because you can't see it. But when you double click on a source and you add an in and, in and out point in the source, it's gonna be used in the clip, in the bin. If the bin has no in and out point, then it drops it in just like it's the source without an in and out point. Whew. So a lot of choices in here, but I think it's just important to recognize that this is a precision type, old school type edit. I mean, every editing device, every editing platform has this, this kind of capability. And if you come from the mouse, you might be missing it. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button to video revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description just for you to get your free 30 day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.